Hey guys, welcome back. So we are continuing our PHP PDO using bind param function CRUD. So now guys, we are going to start with how to edit the data with the bind param function and update those data using bind param function. So guys, now let's get started. So let's move to this table design and just add one edit button so we can edit the data using the parameter called ID. Okay. So yep guys, let's get started. So here is our fetched table row data and here is the table heading. So first, oops, it's not a password. It's of course, as we have pasted in previous video wrongly. Okay, so let's create one edit and the table data with the a tag that will be button called as edit and give a class with button button info. And now guys over here let's create the student hyphen edit dot php file question mark id is equal to your fetched row data id okay is equal to as you have echoed over here dollar row of id you just need to echo this also as simple guys and now you can refresh here let's click here we get the output this is our file name and the parameter id with the value 1. So let's get back and create the file name student edit.php. Copy and create guys. Done. So now guys for to design the form we are going to use the same form which we have used in add student. Okay. So let's copy that add student form. So let's get back. Control C. Let me just minimize it a little. Here we paste. So, yep. As simple. Let's edit and update data using PDO with bind param function in PHP. So, this is the form. Now, let's change the button name first update student and the name attribute data as update student okay so let's save and let's see the output edit here yeah, perfect so we are on the edit form guys so now let's fetch the data using this parameter id first step let's uh, go above the form and write the php code let's begin with the if condition where we will check using a set function dollar underscore get method where if any id is present or not first in the form if id is present you are going to tell yes then come inside else you have to show echo in a h5 tag that no such not id font as per your uh, message area you can just display that so if the id is found let's store that in a variable called student id so which comes under using get method where id so guys some guys have asked that do we need to use mysql real escape string for protection of sql injection so it's not required guys over here using when you are using the pdo thing okay so because we are going to that bind it so it's not mandatory yep guys and let's type the query so basically we are fetching the record select all the fields that means start from the table name so my table name is student i mean students where the id column field id and then you are going to give question mark over here okay and we just want to fetch only one id so you can just add a limit also which gives to one so now guys let's execute the above statement so dollar statement is equal to dollar connection of your prepare function with the dollar query so after preparing this query guys now we have to bind the id okay let's use the dollar statement here we use bind param function 
where you are going to pass at first which this you have to analyze that it's a first record and then pass the data in it so that is student id the student id you have to pass it where and one more thing guys in this you can just initialize that it's a id or what thing data it is so if you required you can give or else you can it's not mandatory to also okay so let me add it pdo colon colon where parameter will be integer param underscore int here it is so this is also one type of validating that id strongly and now you can execute this statement statement execute done and now guys you need to fetch the data so let's tell your data is equal to dollar statement of fetch so here we are not going to use fetch all as we have seen in previously we are not using fetch all we have to just use fetch because we are going to get single data and that data let's get in a format of associated array fetch associate if you require you can get in object also so which we have learned in previous series that is php pdo crud link in the description guys so now finally let's check out with this dollar data where you will be sending this value inside your variable okay i mean input fields so let's type the value open it's php and close dollar data of what the column field database column field name full name okay so now guys let's check the output here we refresh okay undefined variable con that means connection this connection guys it's searching for this connection why because we have not included that so let's include the database connection first we missed out connection db con dot php file all set so yep now let's get back refresh here we go so we have got the data so now guys let me just try to remove this id and just give a student edit here you get undefined variable data okay so what for this you just need to add that in a if else condition i mean this form so let's divide this just need to close php open php and inside this your form will be so let me just control x fold this form and paste that code below all set guys so now you not need to worry and now if you try to remove it and just give student you can see that no id found okay so as per your request you can just set this yep now let's add the remaining values in its input field video and course so let's paste that phone email all done cool guys so our data has come let me just check out with the second perfect so there is no issue now guys let's begin with updating this code yep so when you click on update student it goes to code.php with the method post as default by taking its input field values so guys now let's move with the code.php and create a update student code so let's move to code.php here and yep let's use a if condition to check if the button is clicked or not so the button is clicked using post method and now guys when you update the data you have to get all the input field names so let's copy from below itself which we have seen in inserting time done so now let's uh, use a try catch statement try here you need to pass the pdo exception 
so pdo exception dollar e and you can just echo that dollar e of get message if you get any kind of error you will be moved over here so now guys as simple let's begin with the query is equal to update the table name so my table name students set the column fields so column field is full name is equal to colon your full name comma then email is equal to colon your email id then your phone is equal to colon your phone number and course is equal to your course okay so these first values are nothing but your database column field names okay so your table column field name and remaining are you are going to bind them so guys previously we have seen that we have just used the question mark so here we are while updating it's this method okay so course where id is equal to on what id you want to update this statement so you can just add the student id so let's keep in small where limit let's keep it one so update one record at one limit one okay so now guys yes let's prepare the statement so dollar statement is equal to dollar connection prepare where dollar query dollar query and here your database connection make sure database included done so once prepared guys now let's bind all the data into this sql query so dollar statement your prepared statement with that you are going to bind param so first and your value colon the full name okay so here you are taking this data and pasting here and inside this you are going to get your variable full name that's it all set so same condition moves with the email id and the email from the input field the phone number and the input field value a course and your variable called course so here and now guys one more thing we require that is the id so this id let's paste here id and student id let's take this variable and create at the top and get from the input method student id okay so let's check out in our student edit form and here we have no such input called student id let's create that just add a value is equal to and tell dollar data of student underscore id now let's see guys first the id is visible or not inside this input field let's refresh okay so it has not come let's make it id it's not actually that student id okay because that field is not found so it gave an error and let's create a name with the student id so let's copy this input field name and let me make it hidden so yes guys let's copy this and go to your code.php at update student and here you have to paste that so now you will get your student id and that bind that function i mean bind the params so now guys after this let's execute the query query execute is equal to your dollar statement where you will tell execute function that's it so once executed you are going to show in a if else condition that updated or not updated let me just copy the code from below 
to show the success message so yep paste here all set guys updated successfully and not updated all done you are using session make sure session start and going back to index.php file so now guys let's test it okay refresh so instead of Mohan Kumar let's add just Mohan and update the phone number also let's click on update student updated successfully and you can see that from Mohan Kumar to Mohan it has added so let me just change this uh, first record very I mean data so from with to ohm and from with at gmail.com to ohm at gmail.com update student here we go so all the data has changed guys so guys we have successfully completed with how to update the data using bind param function in php pdo so guys in this video that's it and let's continue in next video about how to delete the record using your bind param function and thank you for watching this video guys please subscribe like and share